Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Fatur Rahim I am the third year undergraduate chemistry student at the Department Chemistry Faculty Mathematics and Science University of Lampung Here, I am the representative of the University of Lampung in the selection of the Outstanding Student 2022 I would like to present to you about the important role of the natural ingredients in the treatment of the diabetes mellitus to support the sustainable development goals especially the goal number 3 about the good health and well-being Along with the times, there have been a shift in the lifestyle such as irregular eating patterns, excessive nutritional intakes, and lack of sport activities. An unhealthy lifestyle can cause various diseases, one of which is diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disease characterized by an increase in blood sugar levels that exceed to the normal limits or known as the hyperglycemic. Due to the insulin abnormalities, insulin action, or the combination of the both, the hyperglycemic increases the risk of diabetes and associated complications including heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, lung amputation, and poor vision and nerve damage. Overall, these bad habits and unhealthy lifestyle can be adjusted by a good quality of G-education which stated in the SDGs number 4. Until now, diabetes is still a serious health problem in the global community. Diabetes and its complications are leading causes of the death worldwide the increased that percentage by the non-communicable disease. According to the International Diabetes Federation in 2021, Indonesia ranks the fifth highest in the world and the prevalence of diabetes mellitus in Indonesia is around 11.3% and it estimated that as many over 28 million people in Indonesia have diabetes in 2045. Diabetes mellitus is divided into three groups, namely by diabetes mellitus type 1, diabetes mellitus type 2, and the gestational diabetes. Diabetes mellitus type 2 is the more common type of the diabetes occurring mainly in adults but occasionally in adolescents. Diabetes type 2 occurs when insulin target cells fail are unable to respond to the insulin normally. This is called insulin resistance, which causes blood sugar levels to exceed to the normal limits. One treatment for the type 2 diabetes mellitus is to inhibit the performance of the alpha-glucoxidase enzyme. Several synthetic alpha-glucoxidase inhibitors have been used clinically, such as acarbos, miglitol, and metformin. However, the synthetic inhibitors have the side effects such as bloating, nausea, diarrhea, and a headache. One treatment of the diabetes Treatment is to use the various plant as the natural ingredients which have fewer side effects when compared to the scientific drugs. For a long time, natural products from the plants have been used to the treatment of diabetes, especially in the developing countries, due to the limited resources and the affordability of the access to the modern medicine. Studies reported that 80% of people in developing countries depend on the natural ingredients as the primary remedy for the various ailments. In Indonesia, there are a lot of natural ingredients that are usually used by the public as an alternative treatment for the diabetes such as papaya, aloe vera, and bay leaves because their plants contain secondary metabolites. According to the World Health Organization, preparation based on the herbal ingredients are used by the 80% of the world population. The medical use of the herbal plants has a long tradition in Europe while in some parts of the world, example like China or India, herbal medicine still the mainly in the healthcare chain. So, based on the information, it can be seen that natural ingredients have an important role in the management of diabetes, especially in the developing countries because of the problem of limited resources and the affordability of the access to the modern medicine, so that the natural ingredients is in the treatment of diabetes mellitus can support the sustainable development goals, especially the goals number three about good health and well-being to achieve the target 3.4 which call for reduced mortality from non-communicable disease and promote mental health. One thing that should be remembered, the way you think, the way you behave, and the way you eat can influence your life by 30 to 50 years. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.